It's funny how lockdown has forced us to rethink, to look at the world through wiser eyes. Generations used to jumping on planes and crossing continents are now forced to search for wonders in their own backyard. My name is Paul Goldstein. I'm a wildlife photographer and former frequent flyer. Welcome to Pond Life. This is the Three Kings Pond in Mitcham, South London. It's the kind of place we pass on our commute without noticing. But it's a tiny piece of wildlife habitat in the heart of the urban jungle and home to this family of swans. The male, or cob, is Reggie. He's an overprotective father who considers this nest site to be his exclusive territory. He's the king of Three Kings Pond, and no one moves in without his say-so. He's seen off ducks, herons, and geese. And I've even seen him take on a number 44 bus. Reggie is most definitely the daddy. We'll call the female swan, the pen, Florence. Locals tell me she had five signets last year, but sadly lost some of them. This year, she's raising seven. The first thing I do every morning when I find them is count to ensure they've made it safely through the night. Urban photography. You've got to work with what you're given. And my dream shot here is to get the swans in the reflection of a red bus. Is it easy? No, of course it isn't. But it wouldn't be fun if it was easy. And most importantly, when you want a bus, there's never one there. Ah, it's going well there. Jeez. Okay, again. I was coming closer and closer to achieving that magical alignment of Cygnus Cygnus with double decker bus. But I was distracted by all the rubbish. Had it always looked like this? I asked Derek Hambrook, whose house overlooked the pond. I was born here back in 1936. The pond was kept clear, always clean and tidy. We could paddle in it and swim in it. We was all just one big happy family type of thing. What annoys Derek most? Mainly it's the litter. The people who come round the pond at the night time sitting there drinking and things like that. And they leave all the mess there. As an inner city family, Reggie, Florence and the kids are used to living in this human mess. But they shouldn't have to be. Cleaning up the pond was going to be a long job. But suitably socially distanced help was on its way. Morning. You're here. Well, well, well. Reinforcements. Should we clear this place up? Yeah. yeah. Every day is a challenge for this family, but Reggie continues to defend his turf against all comers. For 40 years, no swan nested here, and while this is no swan lake, it's no swan dive either, and with a pond don like Reggie running the manor, there's a good chance that his offspring will make it. <laughs> 